So I guess Wish You Were Here stems from this key question around authenticity. What are the challenges I face which disrupt me feeling authentic, whether that be an inner dialogue or kind of external spaces? So that was kind of the first impetus for the work. And then for the visual component, um, the work was commissioned by James Hyman from the Hyman Collection and the Hyman, Hyman Foundation. And he presented me with a series of postcards and they were of cakewalk dancers. So the cakewalk is a dance um, which was created by African-American enslaved people as um, a satirical dance to make fun of uh, the slave owners. But after emancipation, that dance kind of moved into kind of black performance spaces, minstrel shows, the like. And the dance became the opposite of what it was intended. It was this kind of mockery of what it meant to be black. And then here comes this performer called Aida Overton Walker, and she reclaims the dance. She fills it with grace and flair, and people are baffled by her. And also at this time, black women are either kind of on stage, they're either kind of over sexualized or mocked. And Aida wanted to kind of reclaim that gaze and fill, fill the dance with. Uh, grace and modesty and she was really political she was really quite outspoken of what it meant to be a black woman performer and these limitations and this kind of source of strength and inspiration in these cake or images inspired the body of work for me to kind of um, have a conversation with my own sense of authenticity and try to kind of find a way through so showing wish you were here in the public realm is pretty magical because um, uh, something I wanted to feel after the project ended was to reclaim space and feel like I'm taking up space. The idea of seeing this big image of a kind of homage to Overton Walker's work, who was desperately trying to reclaim space in the early 20th century is like, it just feels full circle, like a homage to her, but also an homage to myself of, trying to kind of reclaim the space, which I'm trying to do now in my life. I think the dream of Wish You Were Here is to look at the images, but also for that to kind of reflect back into what's happening with that individual, that individual um, audience member. So the, the work is kind of cyclical in that way. It's looking forward, but looking at yourself. Um, because the work is me kind of looking back at Aida Overton Walker, but looking at myself in the present. And that kind of conversation with the past and present and kind of these dimensions feel uh, like you get answers in this. So I'm hoping that the audience respond in that way.